welcome back i'm doing the recording of 11th of january's godly blessing i've got delayed because i was supposed to send you at in the morning 8 am i've been traveling and i've just arrived back a couple of hours and it's evening time right now but do go ahead do listen to this beautiful blessing because it's a chain of thoughts we should never break so we have been continuing all the blessing on a daily basis as much as possible i'm trying to get you all the blessings being recorded and also being sent to you early morning at 8 am i hope you are enjoying those beautiful blessings and we'll continue to do this service for you so let's go ahead let's understand that how can we become successful or let's say an embodiment of success with the power of thoughts and that is the complete secret which we learn in brahma kumari that how we can use thoughts to actually attract the right place right situation right people right circumstances in our life and it is possible with two very important criteria and we're going to discuss those criteria today so god says may you become an embodiment of success with your power of thought and have a right to be successful in your every task who doesn't want that right whether it's a business person whether it's a person who's doing a job whether you want your family members to progress whether you want your family to progress whether you want to make a new house or whether you want to grow ahead in a healthy way physically so let's explore this different area of our life which is a spiritual part and let's understand the power of our thoughts god says you will experience easy success with your power of thought in many tasks just as you see various stars in the physical sky we do that right it's a evening time right now and you can see the different beautiful stars and especially in darjeeling you can see it very clear because nowadays because of the winters we are seeing everything very clear let's come back to the spiritual essence so god says in the same way the sky of the atmosphere of the world now that is a separate atmosphere the physical atmosphere we are talking about the vibration radiations of souls that's another world which you can't see through the eyes but it does exist there's a telepathic wave happening every second everywhere it cannot be seen but it is happening between souls between energies between metaphysical beings that we are so god then says you will be able to see the stars of success sparkling when your thoughts are elevated now what are elevated thoughts that means in these thoughts you have everything taken care of for the world that means you're thinking about how can i improve somebody's life how can i improve somebody's health how can i improve somebody's mental capacity how can i improve somebody's emotional capacity or how can i help somebody out in financial conditions or at least give that person the guidance or the direction to be good financially so god then says that is an elevated thought and powerful two conditions elevated and powerful see here we didn't speak about how can i become emotionally stable how can i become mentally stable that will happen when you take the knowledge and you impart it to others automatically then god says and you are constantly lost now this is very important huh? carefully listen carefully this is very very crucial this is the it's the ice on to the cake or let's say it's the filling in the sandwich so powerful thoughts and elevated thoughts are two breads and this thing which we're going to talk about right now is just the filling inside so god here says and you're constantly lost in the depths of the one father that means you're meditating on the infinite metaphysical infinite being infinite power and you're connected to that power because of which you are able to find your path on this earth many people are lost on this earth many people don't love what they do because of two reasons they don't have love within themselves they may be on the right field on the right path but they don't have love within themselves or secondly they don't know what they've come here to do or they don't know what their talents are they're just copying they're just uh, comparing they're just getting jealous and taking the wrong decisions of the life god then says this divine mirror oh sorry so your spiritual eyes not these two physical eyes spiritual eyes and spiritual image will become a divine mirror your spiritual eyes 
and your spiritual image will become a divine mirror people can see that you are becoming more pure and diviner and your life around you is changing this divine mirror becomes an embodiment of success that makes many souls experience their soul conscious form so when we look at ourselves when we look at the divinity within ourselves and when we uphold that divinity with the nasals then automatically other people also start seeing that is you know it's like what you think is what people see if you think yourself as somebody on a physical basis good looking people start saying you're good looking but then we are not supposed to go on to the physical basis we are moving from the physical dimension or paradigm to the spiritual paradigm of the dimension there is a beauty within the skin deep beauty and that beauty is the beauty of the soul that you are so more about this in details when you reach the brahma kumari center and you understand things in details this option the